Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about three and forced oscillations. And you need to know the definitions for these because they do come up in the exam. So what this is here is I'm going to explain to you the difference between a free and forced oscillation and give you the exam definition for these both. So this here is a free oscillation. Okay. And a free oscillation is an oscillation that after displacement has no external force acting on it. So as you can see here, I displace it and there's no external force acting on it. And technically, if we ignore friction, this would go on forever. Okay, so that is the definition for an oscill free oscillation. It's an oscillation that after displacement has no external force acting on it. A forced oscillation is one that has what we call a periodic driving force acting on it. So a forced oscillation has a periodic driving force acting on it. And you can see here, if I get my lanyard here and I start hitting it, I am hitting it at a period, time period here. And this here is called a force oscillation because I am moving it, I am adding force periodically to it. Now this forced oscillation can come from all sorts of different things. So for example, you could have a car with speed bumps and that you go over one and then you go over one after a time period. And that is a periodic dri dri um, driving force because you're having a force acting on it over a set of time. It's not just a one-off, it's happening twice. So there is a time period to it. Okay. Now this driving force is, uh, can be a force that is exerted on it from an external source. Of course, it can be things that happen with damping. And this forced oscillation is what causes a phenomenon known as resonance. And that will be in one of my next videos. And that is three and forced oscillations.